Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a few things. So first we are going to be talking about this guy. This is the um, Morphe Dare to Create 39A eyeshadow palette. This is from their holiday collection. And it's really, really big. <laughs> so um, these are kind of warmer, these are cooler, and these are supposed to be your transition shades. And it does not have a mirror, just so you guys know. And then we're also going to be unboxing and trying on my Kiss Me um, Liquid Lipsticks by Live Glam. So this is a subscription that I get monthly. I just started it. And you get three lippies so they can be um, glossy lips, um, satin, or matte liquid lipsticks. These are all matte that I have with me today. Um, these are the November collection and I think they might have a few left. Um, I have a link that is an affiliate link just so you guys know down below. Um, if you use that to sign up you will get an extra lippy when you get your first month's um, box. So just so you guys know. So we're going to be doing the eye look with the Morphe palette and then I'm going to be trying all three lips on um, once I get all the rest of my makeup on. So let's just get right on into it. So um, I am super oily lately, like way more than normal. So I'm going to start out with my MAC oil control lotion that I like to use when it's like really, really, really bad. So I'll just put this on the center of my face and it really helps. All right, and then we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Primer. And I always use two pumps of this. All right, and I haven't used this guy in a little while, so this is the Dior Dior Skin Forever. I have two shades. I have 20 and 21. I am using 20 today because I don't have a tan. That was a lot on my forehead. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M439 to blend it in. Alright, and before I set my face, I'm going to put on my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. And I'm going to do this off camera, so I will be right back. Alright, and now we're going to set the face with the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. And I'm going to take my trusty Kat Von D powder brush. Alright, and I haven't used this in a while also, so I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour um, Face Contouring and Highlight Kit. And um, like most of their products, this also smells like chocolate. It smells so good. And for blush, we're going to be using the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. Kind of using a lot of products that I haven't used in a while. Alright, and for highlight, so this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. It is a really pretty gold champagne. And I'm going to be taking that on a Morphe 510. Alright, and now we're going to go into eyes, so we're going to go in with this ginormous thing. Oh man! So we're going to start off with a larger fluffy brush, this is the E23 from Morphe, and I'm going to go 
into that shade right there and just buff that in the crease. And then we're going to take a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe 518. And I'm going to go into this transition color and blend that into my crease as well. And I wanted to do kind of a halo eye, so that is what I'm going for today. So I'm going to go into this brown right on the edge on a Zoeva 227. It kind of um, resembles the MAC 217 a little. And I'm going to put that on the outer edge and the inner edge to start creating the halo effect. So a halo eye, if you don't know, is darker on the inner the inner and outer corner, and then you connect it on top, and then you put um, something lighter in the middle. So like I said, that is what we're going for today. Alright, and now I'm going to connect it in the crease. Alright, and to blend everything out, I'm going to go into that darker transition shade on a Morphe R39 and blend out that crease. All right, and to darken up the inner and outer corners a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this um, dark plum shade and just pop that on, not too heavy. All right, and for the middle of the lid, I'm first going to go in with this color right here. It's kind of um, a bronze shade, and we're going to start off with a dry brush, and we're just going to pop that right where we didn't put the darker shadows. And to kind of blend everything out on the edges, I'm going to go in back with the chocolate brown color on a smaller blending brush and just fluff everything out. All right, and then to bring a little more glitter to the center of the eye, I'm gonna go in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. There we go. So this is in Bronzed Bell. It's kind of a rose gold shade. And we're just going to pop that right on the center. Alright, so that is the lid done. So now we're going to move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in to that darker transition shade that we used on a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to put this on the lower lash line. Alright, and with an even smaller brush, this is a little pencil brush, I'm going to go into that dark plum shade and just put that really close to my lower lash line. 
Alright, so that is the look I created with that palette and I love it. Um, I think the shadows blend fantastic. I think it's definitely up to par with the Jaclyn Hill palette um, and so far to me that is my favorite one that they have ever made. I think they hit it out of the park with that but I think that is pretty much up to par with that. Um, so yeah, I have nothing bad about it. Um, other than it doesn't have a mirror, but you know, I can live with that. And I think it's only, I want to say like higher 20s or low 30s. I'll leave the price down below because I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. So I am going to throw on a little bit of mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is one of my favorites. And then um, I'm going to throw on all over the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. And then we'll be back to try on the Kiss Me Lippies. Alright, so mascara and everything is on. And now we are going to try on the lippies. So... Um, I actually, so they have this cool thing where if you don't like one of the shades or you just like don't like all three that you're getting for the month, you can actually swap out um, all three or one of them. So I swapped out um, a bright red and I got um, a nude instead. So this is promiscuous. So this is the first one I'm going to try on. And they smell really good. They kind of smell like um, vanilla or cake batter or something. So that is, again, promiscuous. It's a nice um, peachy nude. Really, really pretty. All right, and now we're going to try out Soulmate. So this one is kind of a lilac. So this one, I think... I would probably wear more in the summer just because it's a little bit light for me but I still think it's really really pretty and by the way these um, all the ones that I got this month are um, they are all liquid lipsticks and um, for me they stay on for a very long time they're transfer proof and they dry down pretty fast and they're not drying they're not um, they're kind of more on the side of the whipped consistency but they do completely dry down so all right and the last one we have to try on is bay so this one is looks like a darker nude So again, that is Bay. That is probably my favorite out of the bunch. And I think it actually pairs really well with this um, eye look. So that is all that I have to share with you guys today. Um, my giveaway is still going on. Um, I think this is going to go up on the 18th. So... I think there's about two or three more days from when this video is going to go live. So um, it ends on the 20th, so make sure you go subscribe to my channel and go leave a comment on that video. That's all you have to do to be subscribed, and I'll be picking my winner randomly. Um, I'll be replying to their comment. So yeah, just make sure you go enter that, and um, if you like these kind of videos, just give it a big thumbs up and hit that little red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.